All right, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, this is six scale. It's June 6, 2024. Okay, um, <clears throat> I've got a few things I need to go over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, first is the, uh, our, the, we have to figure out what to do with our job here because, um, so let's, let's look at some of what's going on. So we actually have a, we have a job failure. Let me just go over all of them. So just to take stock, um, What is what's it called? I'm not finding it. I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. This one. Okay, so that um, this one's still looking okay. Um, I think we still need to do worse some work on it though because the results are a little bit weird. But the um, the periodic job is looking fine now. The the two that I do want to mention are these two. The the density tests that we have running on the dedicated cluster, these are starting to fail as of May. So we have to we actually need to think of what to do with these. These are, um, if you look at the failure, it looks like the, um, the kind cluster isn't even starting. Yeah. So I mean I'm one I mean we're gonna have to talk to Brian, I think, because I don't know what is going on with these. It seems like it just times out trying to start a con cluster so we can like running any tests. <clears throat> yeah, so I, I think that's what probably probably have to do. I mean, I think we still want to eventually get to a point where we do some work on, or do a little bit more in those density clusters, but I don't think we've gotten to it yet. So I think we just need to have Brian take a look at this. I, maybe something's wrong with the cluster because maybe it's out of date or something because I don't know what's what's going on there, why we'd be timing out. Probably need an upgrade of OpenShift on that node or on the on that in that cluster. Uh, the note uh, meeting's already recorded, by the way. Okay. Um. Let's. All right. Any comments about this? I mean, I think it's probably what we need to do next. All right, <clears throat> let's go to Quack. So we've got a change here being worked. LA, this is you, I think. Or is this? Yeah, okay. Okay, LA, what did you have for this one? So yeah, this, this is just an update, um, Ryan. It's... Uh... It's the building block for installing Quark and related config on make cluster up. Okay. Um, we have merged this. It means that we are ready to um, write end-to-end -end test on the um, make perf scale test command. So we should be able okay. to create fake nodes and fake VMIs there. Okay. So you you're thinking this is something we want to do in the periodic or in the presented test? I think we should do it in uh periodic, not the density okay. one, but uh this one. Periodic keyboard performance. Yeah, this one. Okay. okay. Um no, sorry. Uh yes, yes, it is this. Um, so I imagine what will happen is we'll get another sick performance um, serial simulated control plane performance density testing, something like that. And we should take mm -hmm. it to 5,000 VMIs. Okay. All right. 
yeah i think um shrija will help uh write that test Okay. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Nice. This is good progress. This is um I'm excited to see you in this. So um one more related thing is that the the biggest thing we will find out from this performance. Simulated performance test is the Vault Control and Vault API um, resource utilization. And in our graphs, we don't uh, track those numbers. So as part of this, um, we are also going to add those um, metrics to the perf scale test. I'm, I'm thinking that this will be a separate issue because these metrics in itself will be useful without, with or without simulation. So we'll treat them as separate PRs, but uh, kind of related work. Okay. Okay, so we'll need some much change. Okay. <clears throat> All right, anything else about this one? So the two work items that were needed that'll come out of this. Yeah, I, I think that should be good enough to get started. Okay. All right, next we've got a scale experiment. Elliot, I think this is you too, right? Yep. With 5.4 KVMIs. Okay. Yeah. So we we were getting reports of a scale experiment conducted that can take us to 5,400 VMIs in a cluster. Um, notice that the with that scale, word control memory is, um, word controller memory utilization is getting up to 3.9 gigabytes. And so in order to uh, like root cause why word controller memory increases um, like that, I started to explore if we can profile the cuboid code base. There is a feature where we can uh, profile the code base. So there is a binary in, in cuboid repository and that binary basically sends a curl command to uh, the cuboid stack or cuboid API to then you know grab the profile information if the profile uh, feature flag is enabled in the cuboid CR. So I I started exploring that, but I'm hitting some kind of um, communication issue where. Once that call request is made, Word API is not able to talk to all of the uh, Word handler daemon sets and bring that uh, profile uh, information back. So um, I, I have not filed an issue for it. There is an internal Jira, uh, which should be reflected to um, upstream issue, but we need to root cause and, and fix why that profiling is broken. Okay, that's good. There's also tracing. There should be some tracing in her controller too. Um, I wonder, like I, I mean, my suspicion on this is this is gonna have a bunch of this is gonna be from caching that's going on. Maybe we can, we can see what, um, actually tracing isn't gonna help us here. Yeah, you need so profiling and then um but I, my guess would be it's going to be the uh it's going to be some of the caching that's i mean this isn't too bad like i i bet um so what was it a baseline pro oh well, not baseline or maybe 1k or something i mean is it like do you feel like it's scaling linearly is it scaling at a reasonable pace 
Yeah, I think it's scaling linearly, but there are some low hanging fruits that we yeah. can weed out to make it more efficient. For example, in our, I, I think this issue is fixed in the recent upstream version, but the version we are running um, with, with the, the scale experiment with, it printed all of the phase transition map of uh, the 5.4K 5 5 VMIs um, phase transition map onto the log of, of the VMI. So for example, that takes a lo lot of memory and even disk IO to write that much of data onto, onto the disk. Um, we can fix that. Um, we can move away from, so the, the phase transition currently is implemented in a way that periodically the collector will list all of the VMIs from the informer, which is local cache, and then iterate through that list to find uh, the phase transition information. Uh, we can change that from a, a list and iterate kind of polling behavior to a watch based behavior. So that will, the, the resource saving there would be the informer already caches that information. And if we process it in response to that watch event, that means that our resource consumption needed to, you know, trigger that capture of, of that event will be small. We, we no longer have to list and iterate through um, okay. entire thing. So we could potentially do that. I think that will save uh, some uh, memory usage. However, I don't know if there are Prometheus hooks that can allow us to tap into things. So that that's the only exploration um, that is left for me to do. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And then maybe we'll find some more when we profile. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sounds good. Okay, good. All right. Um, I think I mean, is there any other topics then for today? Cover um, all these pretty quickly. Yeah. Brian, quick uh I might not have time to get into the details for this call, but if you um, scroll up uh, the the benchmarks that we have um, for 129, uh, yeah, I think this is the 127 link. If you open that. Oh, I'll just go to this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah and then change. So we are seeing a lot of metrics getting dropped. Uh, the list VMI count, uh, it dropped to zero on May 19th. Then yeah. if you scroll down, the list node count dropped. This one dropped earlier in April. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we, we haven't got to the bottom of this. I don't know why. I mean, we went through and looked and did not see um, we had one issue, one possible issue for this, but I yeah, I, not. I get a feeling that we should escalate this to the community call next week and just um, have some kind of mechanism of reviewing these in the monitoring changes that are coming um, in, in current and next releases. We should not be breaking things uh, on, on refactoring monitoring code base. Yeah, and this one especially like this, we're just missing whenever this is supposed to be the data is available. I think we're just missing it. I mean, there's no way it's zero. I mean, we're we're getting the rest of this stuff just fine. It's they're clearly there. Yeah, we're just missing these things. Something with the timing. Yeah, this is all don't look right. 
those are all off. So there's yeah, another change that came in. It looks like it broke these. And this one broke a second time, looks like. Yeah. Huh. We had already talked about this one, and then this one has gotten worse for the second change. And it seems like it's the yeah, it's the exact same date. Yeah, it's one change that did this, it looks like. On May 19th. Yeah. Okay. And, and if this turns out to be true, then this will be the third time. We we had had another incident in the past as well that broke us. Uh, yeah. So we are in, we definitely need to get some process in place to fix this kind of refactoring breakages. Do we have the um search query again? Do you have a search query? I want to see. What, maybe we can look real quick what it was. On May 19th, oh, there's like a date. I forgot. I always forget what it is. Uh, I don't, don't have it handy. I'm looking for it. Just a minute. Yeah, it's worked up. No, it's not in. I think I found it. Uh, I posted it in the chat. So before we dig into this, can you uh, paste it on our document? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um... Okay, from the 16th to the 20th. Let me even narrow it more. We kind of know what was that doing. Refactor metrics domain sets. Simplify range expression. It could also be it. This might be metrics. That's not it. Okay. Oh, we have this. Okay. I wasn't. So this is probably what's breaking this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like it's every one of these changes. All right. Okay. So we've got. Domain stats, yes. Metrics for Tumblr, collector. Oh man, I mean, it's getting yeah, right there. Could be when we register our collector, it could be how we set it up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Who was working on this? It's not even Marx. 
the thing is. No, I thought it was a Demar. It was where you worked on the other one. Let's see if I can find. Where was that first one we had? I think I had it in the doc, actually. We had first noticed this. Yeah, this one. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Um, we did not get a response. All right. I need to reach out to him on Slack because, yeah, this was, I think, we identified as the first problem. And then, what day did this merge? March 26th of March, Tom. 20th, it seems to be right exactly when this falls apart. It's probably this one. All right. Um, I'll reach out to him because I we need a these two are it, probably these two that are causing this and we need to we need to get these back on track. Or not this one, let me go to let me just bring it up here. It's this one. Great, I'll take a look at this. We can see if we can sort this out because yeah, we need to fix this. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you brought this up again. I, I didn't realize it got worse that it happened. It's we're losing even more now. Okay. All right. That's that's good. Um anything else? Any other topics? No, I think that's it from my side. Okay. Do we, um, I just need to check here where we are in a release cycle because we should be getting close because of the KubeCon release. We should be I just want to make sure here because the layer, we're going to need to get data for um, hosting the performance information. So let me see. Um, check the schedule. So 1.3, we have, okay, July. So yeah, we do not have a lot of time. So we definitely need to get a handle on this very soon. Future freezes actually in a week, just about. Okay. All right, I'll reach out to him and see if we can get the handle on this pretty quickly. Yeah, um, last time this happened, Ryan, we were able to make this a release blocker. So um, it, I assume it would be the same and we'd be able to do this even after uh, code freeze. Yeah. Yeah, let, so I'll let Lubo know, I'll make him put it on his radar and then we can and then I can reach out also to um, the author because we do need this for, um, we definitely do need this. Okay. All right. If there are no other topics, then I think we'll end a little bit early. All right, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, folks. All right. Bye-bye.